Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. We're pushing to 5,000 subscribers. Hit that subscribe button, and thank you for all the support. So NBA Sources says that people are going to be upset that Khalil Ware slipped to the Miami Heat at the number 15th overall. They got a steal with Ware, he told the Miami Herald. Everyone questioned his motor at Oregon. Nobody questioned the talent, and people are going to be disappointed they didn't take him before Miami selected him at 15. His shot blocking was off the charts in Summer League. He got up and down the floor. He's always been considered a talented offensive player, but but he did it more consistently than people expected. He really shined. This is going to give Bam Adebayo the ability to not be at the five center full time. I told people, I already told people a long time ago that everyone is going to be upset they didn't get Khalil Ware. And everyone was saying, oh no, you're just saying that. Nobody said that. As you can see, people are talking about it now. They are going to be upset just like how they were upset. Nobody selected Jaime Jaquez Jr. and he slipped to the Miami Heat. Same thing with Khalil Ware. Khalil Ware is arguably the best big man coming out of this draft. His shot blocking ability, his defense, his versatility on offense with his three-point shooting. I know it's a low volume. However, if you're able to pair this type of talent already with Bam and about going into the future... I'm not saying he's going to be starting next to Bam anytime soon. I don't think he's going to be ready yet. We'll see when it comes to the preseason in terms of how much muscle mass he puts on and is he going to be able to catch up with Eric Spolstra's defensive sets. We all know if you can't play defense, you won't play. Also, too, with the pick and roll, how is he going to be on the pick and roll defense? But overall, I am definitely excited to see what can Khalil Ware bring. This Miami Heat team, we need a shakeup. And as long as Khalil Ware can be a dominant big man, block shots, catch lobs, get easy layups, rebound, play defense. That's it. I want to see what he looks like next to Bam and Abayo. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 5,000 subscribers.